Hello, my name is Kishmani. This K E S H W A N I Kishmani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 155. Please turn to it. Page 155. And today is our lesson number 276. These problems that you see on page 155 are the exact same problem that appeared on the exact same page number in the first edition of the book. And I have already done all of these problems from the first edition. I'm just redoing them. Therefore, we're going to go at a faster pace because they have already been done once, as I already told you. So if you're, in, if you, if you're looking for a solution at a, at, a, at a leisurely pace, at a slower pace, and a little bit more in-depth, you can always go back and watch the original video, which you will find on day number 51. Day 51 is where we did the original problem. Now, here's the deal. Before I actually solve this problem, Let's, 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 uh, before we actually solve the problem that you see, number one, let me ask you this question. Here's a very simple question here. I'm giving you a triangle here. We are told that the base is 4 and this side is 6. Let's call it ACD. A, what is the area of this triangle? Are you able to tell me? If you were to ask to compare, we are asked to compare here, column A, we are given. We are asked to compare the area, area of the triangle ACD versus versus 24. When this particular question appeared exactly like this, no change at all, as you see in the, on, on the blackboard is exactly how it appeared in the old exam, in one of the old exam, when, it's this, when this particular question appeared in the real exam, unfortunately, only 27% of the people who took that particular exam got this question right. Only 27%. Three quarter of the people, three quarter of the people missed this question. And of those three quarter of the people who are missing these questions, there are two kinds of people there. One kind is going to sit there and say, "Well, we do not know." Oh, one. Let me let let me do the. Uh, simpler version first, people who are at a lower level and then we'll do the intermediate level and then we'll do the correct way. The, the lowest level of people will sit there and say, say, say to themselves that the area equals one half base which is four times height which is six. And of course half of four times four times six is four times six is twenty-four and half of that is going to be twenty-four. Uh, half of that is going to be this should have been twelve not twenty-four. This should have been 12. So they will say to themselves that uh, 4 times 6 is 24 and half of that of course is 12 and this is 12 here so they will say that the answer is C. They will, answer that. They will say that the answer is C. This is the first type of people who get this question, who got this question wrong. As I said before, only 27% of the people got it right. As you will see in a second there is not much into it. There is a simple concept that they are that they're trying to test here. This answer is wrong. Why is this answer wrong? Because area of a triangle is one half, one half base times height. The reason why I'm spelling it out is because we have to understand what this word means. Height means exactly what it says. Height means we have to tell them how high the triangle is. And how high a given triangle is depends on where the highest point on the triangle is. There is a highest point on the triangle right here, point C. And where the base is. And you ask yourself, how high is this? How high is this point, point C, from the base? And this distance right here is the height. This is not the height. Height is not the six. Height is this this, this distance right here. And then we are not given that height. We have given we are given no information as to the height of the triangle. They tell us that this side is six, telling us that telling us that C to D is six that does not tell us what the height is. So this is the second category of people who are, as I said, who are a little bit higher level uh, thinking. At least they realize, at least they realize that this is not the height, which is a little bit above than these people who did not realize at all that that is not the height. 
So the second category of people, the second level of people who sit there and say to themselves, since we do not know the high, we cannot possibly compare. So essentially what they're asking us to compare is this part. Essentially they're asking us to compare is one half, four times some unknown quantity. Because we do not know the height. And therefore they will say that the answer is D. That answer is also wrong. That answer is also wrong. Okay, keep listening carefully. The second category of people, the intermediate level of people that I'm describing here, they are making a massive, tremendous, horrendous blunder here. These questions are called, these questions are called quantitative, quantitative, Are they called quantitative computation? Are these questions called quantitative comp computation? No, they are not called quantitative computation. They are called quantitative comparison. And for a reason, they are called quantitative comparison because that is exactly what we are expected to do here. That is exactly what we are being asked to do here. Quantitative comparison. Quantitative comparison. We are being asked to compare the two quantities. We are not being asked to compute the bloody thing. Nobody is asking us, nobody is asking us what is the area of this bloody thing. We are simply being asked, is the area of this triangle greater than, less than, or equal to 12? That is all we are being asked here. So let's do it again one more time, for the third time. So now, we do not know what the height is here. Let me... We do not know what the height is here, but we do know that c to d is 6. Okay, keep listening. We do know that c to d is 6. Since c to d is 6, therefore, we can logically infer that this distance here from c to the base here, whatever, the, whatever it is, it has to be less than 6 because this, this side sitting at an angle is 6. Therefore, we do not know what the height is, but it is something less than 6. And this is how we write something less than 6. 6 with a little minus sign on it that tells us it is something less than 6. 8 with a little plus sign on it will tell us it is something more than 8. So this height, whatever it is, is something less than 6. That's all we need to realize here. So now we have 1 half 4 times something less than 6. Well, something less than 6 times 4 is going to be something less than 24. And something less than 24, half of something less than 24 is going to be something less than 12. Voila. So we're being asked to compare something less than 12 versus 12. Of course, the answer is B. Of course, the answer is B. Now this particular question, as you see on the blackboard, is exactly how, this is exactly how the original version of the question appeared. Not the question that you see in front of you. The question that you see there in front of you on page number 155 has been modified a little bit. But the original question, the, this, this particular question that you see there on page 155, question number one, appeared in, appeared in its original version in very old exam in this book right here. The old GRE, the 10th edition. And if you're interested in watching my original solution the way I did it, long, long time ago, many, many moons ago, you can find the solution. Just type in, all you have to type in is quantitative comparison, as, I, as you see there. Just type in this type, quantitative comparison, day 12, and you will find this exact same problem being done, exact same way. So finally, the answer is 12. We are done with this question. Now let's do the new version that they give us here in the new book, which is what you see in front of you, which is no different. You will see in a second, which is no different at all. All they have done here, all that they have done here is they have changed this into 24. And instead of talking about the area of this particular triangle, they're talking about the area of the area of the quadrilateral A B C D. So we're going to make it A B C D right here. A. B, A, B, C, D. We already know that the area of this guy, A, C, D, is something less than 12. And therefore the area of this upper guy, area, area of A, B, C, area of A, B, C, of triangle A, B, C, is same as the area of triangle A, C, D, which we know is less than 12. Therefore the area of this whole thing is something less than 24. It is something less than 24. And therefore, since this is 24, something less than 24, the answer is B. That's all.
for the exact same reason that I described here, we will calculate the area of the triangle ABC in the exact same manner as we did the area of the triangle ACD. No difference at all, realizing that the height of this particular triangle ACD, height of the triangle is not 6, but it is something less than 6. Therefore, it is just, it is basically the area of the quadrilateral here that you see there, area of the quadrilateral that you see here is 4 times something less than 6. So, 4 times something less than 6 versus 24, the answer is B. Well, that's it, we're done. Enough of the talk. I think I took much longer than I wanted to. And now we have to do question number 2 in a hurry. And I really don't want to do question number 2 in a hurry because question number 2 is very involved. Let me take a look in the back, see how much I have taken. I'm looking for my cap here at the same time before it gets dry. I can't find the bloody thing. We are 11 minutes into it. Let's do the next one. Uh, number 2. No, I don't want to do number two separately. Number two is a, is a very involved question. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to end this thing. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We'll do number two separately. Bye now.